Hello everyone, welcome to this video and I'm here to show you my mod loader a uh, multi cut mod loader it is for hen and custom firmware so I have updated it I've added more stuff to it and I've changed uh, some of the images on the background and stuff and added more menus I added Nightmare 2 but you won't be able to use the texture option as for some reason if I put that menu in it won't let me make it into a mod loader it says it's resist, uh, restricted to 9 max. So if I take the texture folder out of that folder, I'm able to make it work. So there is Nightmare 2 in there. I haven't tested it without the texture folder, so you're going to have to let me know in the comments. So this is now, because there's so more menus on here, 1.50... Uh, hold on. It's 1.59 gigabytes now, This my mod loader is. Because, by the way, I don't think I'll be making it for Bless, this one. This is probably only going to be for Bless because it took such a while to um, update and stuff like that. It takes a while to um, get all the menus in there, make all the paths and stuff. So, I'm going to plug my USB in to the PS3. Um, I'll be have to test this on Hen because my custom firmware actually overheated. And I've got to actually change the thermal paste in that now. So there is menus in there for custom firmware, but they won't display. Some of them might not display unless you're on DEX uh, firmware. Okay, so I'm trying it on Hen. I uh, have not tested this out yet. So, yeah. So the old one I'm going to have to do is delete that one. So this is the old one right here. Um, deleting that. I try to make the background look, uh, I don't know if I improved or worse, to be honest. So, yeah. I think it looks good, the background, to me it does. It's just a mod loader anyway, it doesn't really matter what the images are, as long as the menus are in there that are good. That's really what matters. Um, so, yeah, I've put a lot of menus in there. I don't know whether they're up to date or old. There might be some old ones in there and updated ones. But, um, yeah. Just uh, have fun with it, I guess. So, package manager, install package files. I renamed it as well. I changed the name to. Oh, that's not the one. I think this is it again. Custom firmware hem bless. Multi cod mod loader made by Flame and a Mall. So, yeah. And it is, like I said, it's going to take a while, a lot longer to install than um, other mod loaders. Because I made a I made a Google site. If you are looking to get my mod loaders, uh, they will be all on my Flame in a Mall Google site. Um, so yeah, come join the Discord server too. My Discord server actually changed now. It's mainly just for you to grab the menus and stuff now. It's not really for chatting or anything like that. So I'm actually going to pause this here because I do not want this video to be too long. Um, I thought I'd talk instead of playing music for you guys. Um... Yeah, I'm going to keep, uh, I probably won't be updating this, probably might be the last update for my mod loader, unfortunately. So, I'm going to pause it here while this thing is, um, you know, installing. It's on 7% now, so see you back when it's done. Okay, and this is 97%. It only took about 7 to 10 minutes to install. Um, looking forward to this. Because I've literally just finished it. Okay. So here it is. So yeah, I changed the background. So, subscribe to Flame and Immortal, as you can see. Added on some stuff. Immortal Modding, that's my Discord server. And basically, my Facebook group. So, yeah, this is the new, new menus have been added. So... I can't wait to jump in and actually see this. Like, we've added basically every COD game you can mod. So there should be BO1, BO2, BO3, Ghost, World at War, COD4, MW2, Advanced Warfare, MW3. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 CODs, wait, that's not right. Wait, 1, 2, So 8 or 9. Anyway, that's all the COD Call of Duties that you can see in the icon that I added in this menu. So, 
Yeah, this is for Bless. Again, like I said, version 2, new menus added. Let's open this up. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, I've turned the music off, by the way. I couldn't, I didn't even know, um, I didn't really change the music. I just left it, like, before. Is this working, or is this just going black screen? Because sometimes it can black screen, you might have to, like, Draw it again. Okay, it hasn't kicked me out, so I'm guessing it's probably froze. So hold on a sec, I'll be back. Alright. So we're back. Uh just restart the console just to see if it just black screened and I'm gonna try it again. Try it again. Here we go, let's try it again now. The images don't mean nothing to me to be honest. It's the mod menus that are inside that means the most. Yeah, it worked now. This time it's working. And there you go, there you go. So yeah, it's hard to read. I can't really figure out how to change the words. You know, it's in white. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done an orange background, but this is it for now. I've changed it. So those are the regions, and these are the games, as you can see next to them. So I separate zombies from multiplayer menus, so you, they have their own folders. So so yeah, these are all of them. As you can see, and we have original files in here too. If you ever want to reinstall the original files, so we have made by Flame and Immortal, as you can see at the bottom. Like that. All right, so let's take a look. So, in total, this of uh, BO1 multiplayer menus we should have is I'm gonna see how many menus are here. So, there should be 13 menus in total. Like I said, some might not appear because. You need to be on decks. So one, two. so there's going to be three menus that are not going to appear because you need to be on decks. So you open it up. So press X. So that's his custom firmware. Yeah, some will say custom firmware like all all path. Asp engine. You could try it on him, but most likely it's going to probably shut off your console. Deception. Uh, what? Firehawk. Yeah. Really hard to read, but when the yellow light comes in, it's probably hurting my eyes. As well, so snow engine added to uh, the hen version in. I don't think that was in. So uh, menus added from multiplayer, I believe, was deception, and there was a few more actually added in. So I'm going to tell you the menus that I added in for um, for this one. Okay, so let's take a look at B O one menus. Okay, so I added in deception, and that's the only multiplayer menu I added on added in was Deception for Custom Farmer. Apparently it doesn't work on Hen, but it works on Deception. This is the multiplayer one. There's a zombie deception as well. We'll get into that in a moment. I added Joe Milk as well. Joe Milk Playground for Custom Firmware. I thought it was in there, but obviously it wasn't. So we got Joe Milk in there as well. So if I press go back to tool menu. And then the BO1 zombies, which we have a lot of. As you can see, I added the Monic version 2. That's probably one of my favourite BO2 zombie menus right now. It doesn't work on Hen though. Yeah, shocking news. It doesn't work for Hen. It only works for custom firmware. So as you can see, custom firmware kex only, this one is. Uh, there's a non-host only version and the host version, non-host Non-host and host version, and then I only made one just for non-host only, if you want to pick that one. So, zombie menus added, one, two, three, was basically Demonic and Nightmare Engine 2. But I said Nightmare Engine 2, uh, Red Devil shows up here as well, that's a, it's really hard to see. I wish there was a, I need to try and figure out how to change the words. So, there's Nightmare 2 in here now for hen and custom firmware and if you're on evil nat you're gonna have to use this uh if you're on evil nat custom firmware kex you're gonna have to use the um evil nightmare i believe i put in here yeah evil nightmare so yeah these are but i had to take away the texture folder so you won't get any like colored grenades when you throw them uh, hopefully that doesn't crash your game nightmare engine 2 crashes anyway 
uh, randomly crashes for me. Oh, there it is, Deception, ZM, host. Uh, there's a, I uh, converted a eBoot into Hen, made it made it work for Hen somehow by resigning the eBoot. And um, Deception now works on Hen as well, but we only have the non-host menu that only works. So that's good. And we have a normal Deception for Custom Farmer where you'll get the host menu and the non-host. That menu can freeze a lot too. Um, I did not make any of these mod menus. I just put, I just made the mod loader, and I put the the menus in the mod loader. So yeah, these mod menus that you see right now that I'm scrolling through, I wasn't, I'm not the creator of these mod menus. I'm the creator of the mod loader. So not to confuse anyone. So there's demonic two right there. Everyone's been probably wanting that in the mod loader. So I added that in. It's a good menu. It's got round change as well pretty good then we've got bo2 mp so multiplayer mp stands for we've got bless 01717 now if you're not on these you might have to go find another model loader from someone else i'm not going to i'm only going to make it for my region the ones i'm on because there's no point in me making bless ones if i'm not even on i mean bless ones if i'm not even on bless or a different bless you see i want to make them for myself as well this model loader is for me as well to use that's why I made it okay so let's take a look in the multiplayer menus I did add some in here now I found a paradox cracked version 3.0 and I gotta say it was pretty good so I added that in that's probably the best menu in here paradox if you want custom firmware go ahead and use that fully works it looks exactly like the real one obviously I didn't make that or crack that menu someone else did I just put it in here because I thought it'd be a good idea for people to check it out. Um, what other menus did I add in here? Take a look. Oh, that's the only ones that I'm going to show then, I guess, because we're not on decks. So in total, for a BO2 menu, uh, BO2 MP, it should be Paradox one. Where's Carbox? Car box should be in here. Hmm. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to before I upload this video. It's like unless I put car box in zombies by accident. Oh yeah, I did some more zombie menus in as well. Uh, oh yeah, there's a Paradox ZM as well, cracked. Um, hmm, Carbox isn't showing up. You know why it might not be showing up? Maybe I got the path wrong. So I'll try and fix that. So that's zombie menus. So in total of BO2 menus, there should be 15. Because I added um, Jericho, Jericho Engine, uh, Voltage, Black Genesis... In Solight ZM, there was Carbox, but obviously it's Cabox, Cabox, but it's not in here. There should be three of them. There should be a zombie and a multiplayer one, because one's for custom firmware decks, and there should be a Reflex engine for Hen as well. Did that come through? No, it didn't look like it did. Well, I'll have to go check those out. It's really hard to still read. Alright. Advanced Warfare. So for the Bless 02077. So I added another one in here. Just one more. And that is this menu right here for custom firm only. There wasn't really any custom firm. There's not really many Advanced Warfare free menus out there that I can find. So yeah. There's only like the two in here that we already had. And then we've got the other one now. Which is for custom firm. Maybe it would be more stable for them. Because I don't believe Kebab Engine is stable and Custom Firm or the Salvation one. I believe their menus freeze the most. I don't know about this one. You're going to have to try it out. So one menu for that one. Then COD 4. We added... Um, were these already in here? We added a few more patch menus. So, yeah. It's really hard to read. Maybe I should have not gone with the orange background. Maybe I should have gone with the green background. You know what? I might change it to green. 
I'm going to change it to green. It's going to be flaming them all with the AK, but in green. It's not going to hurt your eyes as much. Well, it might, but at least you'll be able to read it better. And then for ghosts, then we have frozen engine, a reflex for custom firmware, a destiny genution, genution. Those are already in here. The ones that were added was uh, just reflex v2.5.2 and frozen engine. There was not really many custom firmware ones in here. There's not really good menu, free menus out there for Ghost as well. And then B BO3, we added in the two Skyfalls. We added in Jerica for custom firmware, Skyfall for custom firmware, and Retro Client for custom firmware 2. And there should be another one in here. Yeah, there it is. Spectre Engine as well for custom firmware. You could try them on hand if they show up, but most likely if it shuts off your console, they don't work. And I believe, yeah, we just added in, so all together for BO3. So, hold on. BO3, there should be five new ones added. Uh, what was a COD 4? COD 4 has seven. No, not seven, it has six. And then, uh, is it MW2 next? Yeah. No, COD World at War. Added some more in for COD World at War as well. Okay. So, I added in the zombie debug eboot. Apparently it fixes your zombies if you're black screening on custom firmware. So yeah, I added that in. I do not know if that works on Hen. You're going to have to try it out. And there should be... Yep, this one. Azza patch I added in as well. Um, then there was the... Was this in here? X Rules V5 patch? I don't know if that one was in there. I'll check, the f I'll check it in a moment. Nightfire's in here. I don't know if that was from the old one. And, uh, yeah, not really many added to World at War, as it already had quite a lot in. So, World at War has four menus added in total, and added another patch menu as well. A Dev on Online patch. We added. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so this is MW2. So we added for MW2. Uh, do not play MW2 because it's such a toxic game. Four menus. So there should be Asp Engine, AZZA, again, Reflex V2.5, and a Snow Engine. Those are the new ones that have been added. So the ASP engine. AZZ. Then there should be the um, snow engine. There it is. And then the rest, I believe, was the same. There's a Spec Ops one in here as well for uh, custom firmware and hen. I don't know if you knew that. Alright. So, then... That's it for MW2. Back out. MW3. So for MW3, we should have... So MW2 together was 4. MW3 has 8 menus added. So there was a Zombieland one that I added in here. So we have a Zombieland, a Snow Engine for Dex and Kex, a Reflex again, Infinity V1, a Black Genesis menu, AZZA, Asp Engine. So, there we go, we got Asp Engine there, we got AZZ, Black Genesis, Infinity V1, and the last one, Reflex. Oh no, not Reflex, it was Snow Engine, the last one. No, and Zombieland, you can see Zombieland at the bottom right there. It does freeze if you load Terminal, so don't do Terminal. Reflex V2.52, Snow Engine Kex, and a Snow Engine Dex. You can try them on Hen again, but like I said, it might crash. Before I end this video, and then we have the original files, which is basically the original eBoots. We have them all for every single COD game in here. So you just click X, yes, and it'll start transferring. So let's test out a menu then. I'm going to go with Nightmare 2, I think. Let's go try, try that out. Uh, right. We can't do Mnemonic. I would like to, but we can't. 
Okay, this is hard to read. It says Nightmare, en Night Nightmare Engine V2. Hit yes. So it starts backing up the files. So basically it's transferring the eBoots and the SPRX files for you without you having to do anything. You just have to press yes, yes, and does it all for you. That's a good thing about mod loaders, is that it can do that for you if you're a beginner. Such a good men such a good mod loader. I'm gonna change the background though, I think. And I'm gonna try and find out why those other menus didn't show up. Maybe I put them to decks. Path to decks, that's why they didn't show up probably. Alright, so that is basically it for the mod loader. Let's just go test out BO1. I did disable my sound through the capture card. I can't hear it. Twenty minutes already recorded. Let's go try this out. Um, I do have an old webman, so I don't have to disable syscalls on hen. So an old webman is pretty good to have, I think. Stops you from, when you try to sign in, you don't have to do the triangle on R2 anymore. So that's what I find good about it. Okay, and so I just signed in just to show you. Here we go, we've got Black Ops. Oh yeah, these won't work with not. These need to be the ISO like disk versions and the same regions from my mod loader, by the way. The ones that it says next to it. If you don't have those ones, this mod loader won't work for you. Alright, let's try this out. See if Nightmare Engine 2 works. Because it was hard to put in. I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work. And it was the texture folder the whole time. You can get save configs and that, you just can't get the textures. No more. Is this going to work? Is this loading? Or is this just going to black screen on me? Because at this moment I'm not... There we go, it loads. It's loading. I can see it. There you go. So we have Nightmare 2 working by Nitec in here. That's good. Yeah, the sound is uh, disabled and everything. Just gonna do a quick little test. Yeah, it does this reading HDD. It can take a few moments or a few minutes to load. So, yeah, just be patient with it. So I'm glad it. Yeah, so there you go, it works. Yeah, I can't do enough. I'm gonna change that. I don't. I can't stand that when it glows like that on the background for me. I'm gonna drag the menu. That I'm gonna go to here. I'm gonna go to game shaders. Turn that off. Config menu. Got to turn that off and change the menu of the color. There we go. That looks better. So then you can either do online or you can go solo. should work on all maps like I said it does freeze though you might get freezing issues but it is a good menu to use and that's gonna pretty much be it for the um, video that was my uh, flame my, my mod loader flame and immortals mod loader which is which is my mod loader okay so it's working, god mode, fly. So the only thing you won't be able to do is this mode, I think. What? It still works? Huh? Okay. Let's take a look if uh, the game mode uh, works quickly. So yeah, that's working. There you go. Turn that off, and then let's see if the config file saves as well before I um. So there you go, it saves as well. So when you load it, oh, I did accidentally do two as well. If you load it, it will um be the same how you left it with all the stuff like the same items on. 
you just might have to enable god mode limited ammo again all right so that's going to be it everyone hope you enjoyed i'll change the background and hopefully add in those other menus they should be in there but don't know why they're not reading so by the time this video is uploaded or if it does get uploaded uh the the link of my mod loader will be probably uploading to i might put it on google drive this time not mediafire uh, if you are willing to use the link in your description, make sure you use my site, please. It really helps a lot if you just keep using the site. And uh, that's it. Bye for now, everyone.